Uh, we're joined from Stanford, Connecticut by Cheryl Skolnick. She's a principal and analyst at CRT Capital Group, who currently recommends tenant health care as a buy on this. Uh, Cheryl, uh, really these allegations in this lawsuit uh, is incredible. Uh, it's shaken up the whole hospital uh, industry, in fact, you know, from looking at what's, what's gone on. Uh, you've actually had these concerns about community health, right? Yes, I have. It's been what I'd call an open secret in, um, in Nashville and the hospital industry with ex-employees making the rounds of the other hospital companies and um, the Nashville uh, chatter circuit um, having been active on this issue. Um, it's been clear to me that community has been growing its EBITDA very successfully, but not growing its cash flow. And in a long 20-odd year career on Wall Street, whenever I've seen that, and I've seen that in the past, it typically means that somewhere, someplace, um, they're recording revenue or um, uh, not getting paid for revenue that they're recording, and it's not showing up in the cash mm -hmm. unless it's explained by some other things. And as you start to hunt around, you, you find this concern that they have a unique way of doing things with respect to admitting patients who are very low acuity. They're not really terribly sick. And the standards that community apparently uses are unique to community, hmm. which means that the issues that Tenet is alleging took place at the, at the hospital company in its lawsuit um, are unique to community and to its blue book rules of admission criteria. The standard for the rest of the industry is either interqual or a minimum criteria. What's which blue book? Are much, What's blue book? Okay, their blue book is a book of rules that says, here are the justifications, according to the lawsuit, I've not seen it, but according to the lawsuit, here are the justifications for admitting patients who are low acuity, high acuity, or middle acuity. Uh, those justifications, as detailed very specifically in the 70-page complaint, mm -hmm. are um, substantially different from what other hospital companies and, in many cases, Medicare and Medicaid programs, the government itself demands as the admission criteria for low-acuity patients. Okay. So, so what it simply means is if you have pneumonia, you don't always need to be in a hospital bed. Right. You can be given IV antibiotics and go home. Uh, but Cheryl, you know, if these were red flags that were raised to you, did you ever think about, you know, perhaps going to authorities and, and trying to get them to dig deeper into community health and what was going on? Well, going to the authorities is a very big step. I think what would have been more appropriate and what I would have hoped to have been able to have time to do would have been to explore it more thoroughly in an analysis of the financial statements and the SEC documents and actually in the statistical analysis files that Tenet itself did in fact do. Since they've done the work and they've done it twice now with two different consultants using two different sources for the data, one more aggregated and one more detailed, mm -hmm. I don't think I need to do it. But what's interesting here is based on my understanding and knowledge and experience with this data, what they've done should be replicable by anyone with the time, the money, and the understanding of that data. But then does that mean, Cheryl, for the other hospital operators that you cover, are you going to do that type of analysis now to see that whether or not there are other flags at other hospital operators? Um, certainly I could replicate it if I have the time um, and, quite frankly, the funding to do it for thousands of hospitals across the United States. I think that as this court case proceeds, however, the statisticians will um, have their day in court and we will see that data. I'm happy to do fundamental and core research. I've done it in the home health industry. I'm happy to do it in the hospital industry. I use the AHD database all the time and, quite frankly, would welcome the opportunity to have the luxury of the time to be able to do that.